I need to just discuss some of your most iconic moments as coach of the LSU Tigers. First and foremost, I think it was eight years ago, 2010, and you decided in here that you should taste the wonderful foliage that is the turf at Tiger Stadium. So explain to me what was the motivation for deciding to eat the grass? <laughs> I had always in my youth growing up in Ohio, always kind of just tasted a little piece of, of grass just to change the, the taste of my mouth. And, and I did it in baseball. I obviously didn't do it in wrestling and I did it in football. And I did it in coaching. It's just, it was fourth down and one and they decided to watch me is the only reason that they caught me. Okay, so uh, how did it taste? I mean, did it make you one with the, with yeah, the atmosphere? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. It didn't, it, it, I didn't, it didn't bother me a bit that, uh, that anybody saw. It's, uh, it was my moment. You know, I was giving some thought to what the call would be on fourth and one. Uh, what, what was the reaction from the LSU faithful when that video went viral and everyone saw you eating grass? Yeah, it's an amazing thing. The uh, uh, one teacher said to my son, do you all eat grass? And, and his, his answer was, uh, or yeah, his answer was, well, it's not like a grass casserole. He just had a blade. And that was, you know, kind of the, the reaction. Okay, so we're on, uh, I, I know you, he, guys, he literally just walked in here. So we're on the we're on the Dan Levitard Show with Dan and Stu. Dan, Stu, thank you very much. So nice to see you guys. Nice to Miami. see you guys. Hello, Hello Cold Weather. Hello, Hello. Thank you, Hello. Thank thank you for allowing linoleum. us to waste, linoleum. waste your linoleum. time. Oh, my God. They're really struggling today with the word linoleum. <laughs> and I think they have this they have this jug that they have to put money in when they mis mispronounce things like I just did and I owe you money now. I, I, Dan could not say linoleum. I bet he's going to have to put a hundred dollar bill in well, that jug. Well, linoleum is something that you would either have in your kitchen or not. And if you don't know what linoleum <laughs> is, you probably can't pronounce it. But I promise you, I grew up in a kitchen yeah. where it was linoleum. <laughs> well, me too. We couldn't afford hardwoods, so my mom and dad put in the fake linoleum. It looked was made to look like wood, but it was not wood. It was very <laughs> linoleum. So you've taken up acting. I am so impressed with this. What character do you most want to play in your budding acting career? I want to be the leading man uh, of a, a drama um, suspense thriller. What's your favorite Period. movie? <laughs> um, favorite what? movie? Um, what? It, it's uh, Love of the Game. Love of the Game. Okay. Everybody. I want you to look right in that camera, and Kevin I want you to give us the best line from For Love of the Game. Do you know any? No. Okay, how about oh here's, what we're gonna do then. here's what we're going to do. Do you know the movie Tombstone? Tombstone is the single greatest I'm movie in the history of cinema. for you and I'm bringing here's what I want. hell tell with yeah, me. That's, what, that's right, that's right. You tell him I'm coming, and hell's coming with me. Go, Les. You tell him I'm coming, and hell's coming yeah. with me. That's awesome. You got a future, baby. Okay, yeah. it's time to get her, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Now it is time, ladies and gentlemen, for the Marty Party Levitard Show Twitter poll update. Are you ready for this? I'm fired up. Do you sleep with your sheets tucked in or out? <laughs> out. Do you give Steve Adazio an extra week to prepare? Yes. Does what? Nick what? Saban look better at 67 than Stan Van Gundy looks at 56? Nick Saban looks better, period. Nick Saban looks 40. It's not fair. How does he do that? Yeah, I don't know. It's age. It's uh, He deals with it. It's unbelievable, man. <laughs> oh God, it, do it. vampires age? No. No, okay. there's a good I, point. I don't, I don't think they do. I, I'm just Okay. Uh, do you want Andrew Luck to give your eulogy? No. What should we bring back, Night Court or Night Rider? <laughs> Night Court. Bull. Night Remember court. Bull? Yeah. Bull was a bad dude. I like Bull. <laughs> bull was bald-headed, old Bull. Do you know what the Fonz is? Yes. Hey. 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 That's right, brother. Did you know that Demarius Thomas's nickname is Bebe? I did not know that. Ne neither did I. Did you know that Tim Tebow threw Demarius Thomas a touchdown pass in the playoffs against the Pittsburgh Steelers? I would suspect that, though. Tim Tebow won a I playoff game I did not game know that, but I would have suspected that. At least I think that was the right receiver. Mike's going to have to check on that. Is Cleveland bad for your marriage? No. What is more surprising, 
that Sean Payton's brother sells mattresses or that Joe Flacco walked into a mattress store himself and bought a mattress? Joe Flacco walking into a mattress store himself. But it's really the only way to do it. You don't sleep, you don't buy a mattress that somebody else purchased for you. That's if true. you go into the mattress store and you're gonna buy your own mattress, do you just lay down on it right there in the Absolutely. store and, and water around? You've and done that. The pillows? That's exactly right. I have done that. In fact, I just did that. Uh, two more. What is your favorite I Love Lucy character? Lucy, Ricky, Fred, or Ethel? Fred is a, is a classic. Fred's a legend, man. Okay, last one. Would Mike Ditka, at 79 years old, beat up the entire Lebetard show? <laughs> no. He'd have to catch us. He would not be able to catch us. You don't us. think he could catch us? Us. Mike's mean, though. He's part of the show. Mike he is. He's, a big he's strong, Iron Mike. He's a big, strong man, too. Oh, apparently, he's part of the show. I didn't know he was part of the show, fellas. I got to be on with Iron Mike someday. <laughs> I didn't know Iron Mike was 79. He played for George Hallis, didn't he? Yes, he did. Yeah, he, and he was one of the finest tight ends in the NFL period. Marty, oh, Marty, I want you to thank Les There's Miles like, for us, what? if you don't mind. Thank Les Miles for us for allowing us to waste oh. his time this way. I will absolutely thank Les Miles uh, for you guys. Before uh, I let him go, can he give us like a pep talk? Oh, like a pregame yes. oh, speech. Oh, yes, yes, yes. 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 Yeah, yeah, well, here we go. We go. Yes, yeah, we got that, that. That or something for the love of the game. As the Tigers go in the Tiger Stadium, they will connect immediately with a, a group of people who know them intimately. And when they walk onto the field, you put everything behind you. You play for the guys in the purple and gold. You play. You have their backs. And you take it to this Alabama football team. It's time. It's time that the Tigers win. Yeah. 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 The, Tigers. Yeah. the boys back at the shop are losing their minds. Yeah.